And we'll be halfway for our New Year's Day party after base number six. Tell us what we have. Base number six will feature the Coastal Guards, Amir Jackson and Tom Sweetlana against Dallas, the Master Gamano, and Jeff Navis. And there's a lineup for this next base. Let's see who will prevail in this race. Good luck to the next two teams on the quest for victory. And they're all the money. There goes the two teams. And it looks like Dallas Master Gamano's one. That means the Coastal Guards will have the upper hand. They have a 2 and one advantage over Jeff Navis at the current moment. But how long will the ring will last? We'll know in just about moments. But right now, on the coastal guys and Jeff Nellis are shaking the palm trees. They're going to eat the food, and there they go. Busting down the line. Jeff Nellis seems to be leading over Mio Jackson of the coastal guys right now. Thomas Wingard is right on their tail. Trying to catch up in the hurry. And it looks like Jeff Nellis and Thomas Wingard of the coastal guys will be doing a lot of damage to the water as number 8 for a second race in the ball when it's the only toss and he's trying to gain the ground over the only one and by now down is the master commando and number 1 are both trying to catch him really as they head for the water which one of them will get the next command speed I think it's going to be one of them which one of them got it? it is number 1 who got it over down the master commando so now he's trying to stay alive in the game Jeff Dallas currently leads his team over Thomas Lingrata, who is in second place at the current moment. As Amir Jackson, his partner, will have the next command speed leading number two left behind in fourth. Right now it is number seven and eight. As we pass the one minute mark, number seven and eight are both battling for dear life all the way in the back. I think number seven is getting left behind as the next speed will be made by. That was the Master Gamano, who's trying to leave number one left behind in sixth place. Core number seven is getting left behind in the competition all the way in the back. I think he's going to be left behind for a while, unless he can make a statement as he makes the next command speed us trying to battle with number eight for two right, all the way in the back. Meanwhile, Jeb Nowis is trying to hold off both members of the Coastal Guards, Tom Sweetgrass and Lemuel Jackson, in a hurry. Back to number seven we go. Now he holds on number eight for two life all the way back. And now he faces with number one for six place on the pack. I don't think number eight will get any help from the crowd. He's gonna be left behind for the competition for sure. And it looks like that was the master Gamano's gonna rest. But number eight gets some help. And now he's doing the game. And look at that. He's gonna move up a couple of places. You got some in the shower on the list. And back with fun. It looks like Amir Johnson should be able to hold off Jeff and Alice for an easy victory. Jeff and Alice won't have enough distance to catch up to Amir Johnson in time. As number one will have the next command speed bus, it is the Coastal Guards who holds off Jeff and Alice to secure the easy victory. The Coastal Guards get the job done this week and they're doing pretty well this season. As number eight was better to close out the speed bus. It's leaving the other silver child and that was the Master Gamano in the dust. Number two has no hope for the bombing whatsoever. Alright, so the Coastal Guards win this one. It's better to be back next season for Chow in 2017. I think so. Coming out, we got the second half of Week 27 action, but first, let's have to have one from this.